In this video, I'm going to be comparing the Norm of the North movies to the two Red Dawn movies. I've seen one of the Red Dawn movies before, pretty sure it was the 2012 one. I watched it back when I was a college student at SMSU up in Marshall, Minnesota. I haven't seen the Norm of the North movies. These are animated ones. I don't know what studio put them out. They're not put out by any of the big studios, Disney Animation, Pixar, DreamWorks, Illumination, Blue Sky Studios, Nickelodeon, Sony Pictures Animation. I don't think any of those studios put out Norm of the North. I don't remember who's in these movies or who directed them. When it comes to the highest score for each franchise, ooh, none of the six movies I'm talking about in this video are fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. Highest score for Red Dawn is only a 50% for the 1984 movie, with Norm of the North, the third film, as the highest score, and it's still only a 39%. When it comes to the lowest score, the original Norm of the North only has a 6%, whereas the 2012 Red Dawn movie has the lowest score of 15 percent when you look at average red dawn is an average of 32 while norm of the north only has an average of 24 then when you look at gap between lowest and highest score you got gap of 35 percent in the case of red dawn whereas with norm of the north we're talking about gap of 30 33 percent so norm of the north wins this one round but red dawn won the first three so it's going to win no matter what and in this case i'm going to choose Red Dawn, simply because Norm of the North, from what little I know of it, seems a bit more familiar, a bit more like other animated movies, doesn't really seem that original, whereas with Red Dawn, that seems not quite as familiar, a bit more original. The idea here is that like North Korea, I think if I remember right, invades the U.S. in a small group of people become basically rebels, uh, fight against their oppressors, and then inspire other people to rise up against them. I mean, not that we haven't seen this before, but the idea that like, North Korea suddenly comes and invades the U.S., I don't know if that's been done in other movies. Obviously, the basic idea of a group of people becoming rebels, fighting against tyranny, yeah, that's obviously been done before, but this specific thing that we see in Red Dawn, I don't know if that's been done before. So I'm going to choose Red Dawn in this case. I watched one of these movies in college with a friend of mine. We also watched Mad Max Fury Road together, which was my introduction to Mad Max. And then also I watched the Lord of the Rings and Hobbit movies for the first time. <laughs> so I definitely have nostalgia for that time because I got introduced to some friendship so to some franchises honestly looking back on it I really am kicking myself that I didn't watch Lord of the Rings sooner I should have it was silly of me to miss out on it for so long <laughs> but that'll wrap things up for this video